Hey guys and welcome back to my channel Air Day with SK. I'm SK and this is my channel. Yes. So welcome to those of you who are new to my channel and thank you so much to those of you who are returning subscribers. So yes, um today's video is about overcoming fear with faith. So to those of you who don't know, I am a Christian, I am a strong believer, I believe that Jesus Christ came and died for my sins and for your sins and that is the foundation of Christianity and ultimately it is all, you know, to spread the love of Jesus Christ and to just to show people just that God really just wants to have a relationship with you. God wants to know all about you. But yes, yeah, that's just Christianity in a nutshell. If you can't already tell, I'm actually in my family house, my family home. Um, so this is where we've got a picture of our family somewhere and we've got family stuff here. Otherwise in my room, well, from my background, you'd know it's the standard quote and flowers. So today, I just wanted to share with you um, about overcoming fear. Now, I've got my notepad and I've got my Bible, so I'm ready to conquer. I can't even find my notes. This is cool. I found my notes, great stuff. I've got my Bible, got my pen. This is great. So yes, today I want to talk to you about overcoming fear with faith. Getting your fierce faith on that is a hashtag hashtag get your fierce faith on and i stole that line from my pastor so um thanks thanks a lot um so yes first and foremost you know there's different there's so many different types of fear like I, I google searched it and there's multiple types of fear you could have phobias and all that jazz but today i'm talking about that psychological fear the um the fear that is that hindering barrier, that psychological barrier that prevents you from moving forward, that prevents you from from doing what you need to do, you know. Um, and the way I see fear, I call it the crippled leg that prevents you from walking. And oh, like fear is crazy because it even though it's not like a physical thing it's psycho it's so psychological like there's that fear of the unknown the fear of oh my gosh god told me to go to another land god told me to to step out and speak to that person in faith god told me to do this to do that and it's just like why are we allowing fear of what other people think of us fear of what could possibly be on the other side of those results, on the other side of that place that God sent us to be, that the other side of where God wants us to go. Why are we letting that fear get in the way? And it's because, one, we allow ourselves to let it build up in our minds. We, we think of all the, all the outcomes of that fear apart from the best outcome which is to know what is on the other side which is to to step out and find out what it is that god has for you and i the reason why i'm sharing this today is because the past few months i have struggled with fear like never before this could be a series people because i you know sometimes it's 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 hard to summarize but these are just a few things which I feel like can help you in overcoming fear. So let us commence. Yes. The first thing I'd say is gather up the scriptures to daily remind yourself of God's faithfulness. Now, the more we read the Bible and the more we meditate on the word of God, the more we trust him, the more we stand firm in his word so when there is something that does happen to us or whenever we are whenever god does tell us to do something and we're afraid whenever that fear comes as soon as we go back to his word we're reminded that god is always faithful and he always and only wants the best for you and you find that 
he wants to use you to bless other people you know that is ultimately what he wants to do he wants to use you to be able to to spread the gospel to people to show people the love of jesus to to just use you in just a um, an amazing way you know to just show his glory and if you read your bible if you sink into the word of god you will see this time and time again when warriors of the faith do not allow the fear to get in to get in the way of where they're going but they allow that faith to just let them go forth and do it so for example one example i want to give you is is the story of esther hey girls if you don't know about esther cut long story short this girl was a jewish orphan and um there was a time when they were selecting they they were trying to select a queen to rule over persia but um as because queen vashti she was naughty and she got banished from you know from the from the kingdom and so they're trying to find a new queen and esther she was appointed as queen um however she had a, a big enemy who was against the jews and it was a time when she had to be so bold so courageous to step up for her people approach the, you know to approach the king you have to be called to a, approach the king and you know what she went and she got made that king was just that girl what do you want me to do for you? I'm going to do it, you know? And he didn't kill her, praise the Lord. But if some of you guys are confused, just read the book of Esther. Google search book of Esther. It's like four, I think it's four chapters. Mate, guys, I could be so wrong here because it's just such a quick story. I just love it. But guys, she went before the king and before she even went to the king, this girl was praying and fasting. So, Firstly guys, make sure that you know your word. Meditate on your word. When you're meditating on the Bible, the Bible is what will help you through. Whenever you're going through a situation and doubts come in the way and, and fear comes in the way, you can remind yourself of God's, of God's word. Scriptures like this, Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yeah, and if you know and and then again you you know it's like you're lifting yourself up your spirit's being fed you know then you remind yourself of scriptures such as in in timothy where it says for for i've not given you a spirit of fear but of power of love and of a sound mind there are scriptures in the bible which help you to overcome you know god has given us this mighty word of god to tell us that we can do this that we can we can push through we don't need to be afraid we don't need to live in fear but we just have to get our fears faith on get that shield of faith on as it says in ephesians chapter 6 you know, these are the things that we need to do. This is our weapon. Our weapon is the word of God. And you can't, you know, it's, it's hard to go through life. Like, especially it's hard to go through fear. It's hard to overcome it without this, you know. So when you meditate on your word, it's like you meditating on the word helps you. It just it's like when you get to that situation you're so saturated in the word of god you know whatever situation it is that's making you fearful you're so saturated saturated in god's word that you're just reminded of his scriptures you know the scriptures just come up come up come up come up come up and they just peel 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 all that fear away so guys use your mighty weapon which is the sword or the word of the lord which is is so powerful that it cuts deep to the soul and to the joints so hebrews 4 verses 12 says for the word of god is alive and active sharper than any double-edged sword it penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit 
joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. So don't take your word for granted. The more saturated you get in this word, the more it will help you in t in, in your trials, in your tribulations. But right now we're talking about fear. When that fear comes, when it comes to approaching situations, when it comes to to your exam results which you might be waiting for, let's not be afraid. Let's not let fear get in the way. When it comes to stepping into a new land, stepping into a new territory, whatever that is for you, whatever the next step of your, your life is, whether it's a new job, whatever it is that you're doing, don't allow fear to get in the way, but overcome with faith. With faith, people. Faith, which is, let me let me um let me show you what faith is faith in hebrews chapter 11 says now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see so we hope for you know there's certain stuff that we're hoping for but the assurance of what we do not see we are assured in jesus christ that he will grant us the things that we are hoping for right are you guys with me yes Yes, I hear all you people with me. And let's be a fierce, fearless, faithful generation. Why not? Let's do it. Yeah? And yes, it's going to take time, people. Like, maybe some of you is going to happen today. Maybe some of you is happen tomorrow. But each day, we can do something to overcome that fear. Let's memorize our scriptures. Let's spend time with God. Let's take a leap of faith every day to do something that God telling us to do let's just do it right let's do it are you guys with me someone with me i know someone's with me so yes that is all i have for you guys today thanks so much for watching i hope that this has blessed you even if it's blessed one person praise god i know it's blessing me right now i'm feeling encouraged right now um and so yes subscribe like share comment do what you want to do keep it positive though and keep it real See you later. We'll see you in my next video.